Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to explain how I can download OpenStreetMap data using QGIS. So I have QGIS open here. First of all, I need to install two plugins. So if I go to the plugins menu here, I'm using a Mac, this is the same in Windows. So the first option is manage and install plugins. The first plugin we need is called Open Layers, right here. So if you go, click Install Plugin, okay, it says installed successfully. The second plugin is called OSM Downloader, okay, it's right here. I can install it, okay, installed successfully, so there is no errors. The first plugin, the Open Layers, can be found under the Web menu right here and the second the OSM downloader is basically this button here so if I drag it I can maybe just place it here okay that's great all right so first let me add an open street map base map okay I will zoom into George Mason University in Fairfax, Virginia. It should be somewhere here. Okay. Right here. Let me zoom in one more time. Okay. So I need to download these buildings. So if I click on this button here. just need to draw this rectangle all right I think that's enough okay so I need to save it let's call it GMU buildings or it's GMU data okay and I'll save it in the desktop click save and I need to log it after so I have to check this click OK all right great it says successful okay. so the plugin will download points lines polygons and other data sets as well so I'm just interested in the multi polygons so if I highlight it and I click OK then I have the polygons layer. If you notice this big polygon, let me uncheck the layer here. Somebody drew a polygon for the green area in campus. So I need to get rid of it because it's not a building. In order to do this, let me sorry, go back to the zoom in. I need to export it to a shape file. So in this menu, you select every shape file. I'll call it GMU Buildings in the desktop here. Okay, everything is fine. I'll leave the default options. Click OK. All right, so we have the data here. That's the shape file. Is SHP, SHX, DBF, PRJ. All right. If I highlight the shape file and I click Edit, I can select this polygon and click Delete. Okay. Let me uncheck the other layer. Then I can save my edits. Okay. If I right click here to the attribute so these are the original attributes from OSM or OpenStreetMap as you can see most of the attributes are left to null or blank but for us the names should be enough that's it for this video if you like it please subscribe to this channel and I will be adding tips frequently for different GIS technologies 
data sources, data types to share it with you. Thank you very much for listening.